everyone, it's Vault Fox. Welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I created the duct tape patterns for my Sylvie breastplate that I have right over here. I just made them using duct tape and my body and a couple of other things that I'll tell you about now. <laughs> if you're anything like me, well, first of all, I am really sorry. But second, you probably learn a lot better by actually doing things or at the very least by watching someone do something before you so you can like learn from their mistakes or learn from their experiences. That's probably why you're watching my channel and I appreciate you. For the longest time, I could not wrap my head around like sewing patterns or how to put things together. Essentially taking a flat object and being able to make something three dimensional that I could wear. And obviously as cosplayers, that's kind of a skill that we really need to learn to master. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I made these patterns for use in a foam build but you can also take this knowledge that you're about to hopefully learn and transfer it to things like sewing leather work and there's like a whole other gamut of things you can use this for and I hope that it helps you out let's first start out with the materials that we're going to need you're going to want to get a roll of saran wrap or aluminum foil a roll of duct tape a sharpie a pair of scissors your body obviously a mirror or somewhere to see yourself during this entire process and this one is optional but you can have a friend or someone to help you apply the duct tape all over you and to cut you out later. Before I get into the actual process of making this, I do want to kind of go over a few things that I think you should keep in mind before you start. If you can, try to wear whatever you're going to wear underneath said armor while you're doing this duct tape pattern. If you can't, it's okay, a t-shirt and like pants will do. But if anything, try to make sure that you're wearing the same bra that you're going to be wearing or the same kind of underwear. I don't really know what, if underwear would affect it, but definitely a bra might affect the shape. The first thing you're going to want to grab is your saran wrap. And like I said earlier, I am making a Sylvie breastplate pattern. So what I'm going to do is wrap all of the saran wrap over my chest and along my midsection, kind of where it sits on Sylvie's body. If your chest piece is a different shape, then just make sure you're putting the saran wrap everywhere that you think you might need to pattern on later. While you're wrapping the saran wrap, make sure that you don't wrap it too tight or you'll end up distorting the pattern for later. And you also don't want to wrap too many layers of saran wrap because it might end up bulking out your pattern. Also make sure that you're not sucking it in anywhere and you know what I'm talking about. Don't suck anything in at this phase. Make sure that your body is as relaxed as you possibly can. I mean, as relaxed as you possibly can whenever you're wrapping yourself in a cocoon of saran wrap. Let it all hang out because you're going to regret it later if your pattern is too small and it's basically formed to your body whenever you're sucking everything in. Because we breathe, you need to breathe. Just breathe, it'll be fine. Once your saran wrap is sufficiently layered, then you're going to start by taking small strips of duct tape and placing it all over the saran wrap. Try to get into every little nook and cranny that you can and smoothing as you go. I like to use short pieces and overlap them whenever possible to get a good solid structure. Once you're finished and sufficiently cocooned in duct tape, it's time to take out your Sharpie and as best as you can, begin to trace out a base outline of the shape that you're going for for your specific breastplate. This doesn't need to be like the most artistic thing in the world. If you can only really do scratches and things like that, you can always clean it up later. Try to get the base outline as best as you possibly can on your body though. Now you only have to do one side of your body if your breastplate is symmetrical because we can take the one side that you end up finishing up cut it out and then we'll mirror it later so that you know that both sides are symmetrical and you don't have to waste as much time trying to get everything looking perfectly you know mirrored on your body it's hard i do not recommend doing it. Once you're happy with the overall shape, you can then go in and start to draw in seam lines with your Sharpie, kind of like what I'm doing here. I like to draw seams down the front as well as one underneath the side, uh, kind of underneath your armpit. Now, if your breastplate has more complex curves and is a little bit more complicated, I would recommend putting in more seams because what we're trying to do here with these seams is whenever we cut them out, we want our patterns to lay as flat as possible to our surface. In theory, the more seam lines that you put down, the better chance you have for your pattern to lay flat. So for example, on my Sylvie breastplate, I didn't really want to have an accentuated bust line. So I'm not really drawing in where my boobs are. I actually just drew kind of like where the underbust was and that was all that I wanted to do. But if you did want to have an accentuated area there, I would suggest kind of, you know, drawing the circle and drawing all that kind of stuff and seams along there. The last step before you cut yourself free is honestly the most important and that is to go back over all of your seam lines and draw in registration marks. They are just lines that you're going over top of your seam line for and they will help you to line up all of your pattern pieces later. Take it from me, I have done many patterns where I didn't draw in registration lines and I thought oh, I'll be fine, I can just line up the tops and the bottoms. Don't do that, just, just draw your registration lines. 
learn from my mistakes. <laughs> now that everything is drawn on, you can free yourself from your cocoon. Take your scissors and carefully cut along one of the seam lines, preferably on the front, and get yourself out of there. You could also ask a friend to cut you out at this step, but just be careful to not cut through your clothes. I haven't cut through my clothes once, but I'm sure that somebody has, so just be careful. After you free yourself, you're going to want to take your pattern and begin to cut all of your pieces out. I've got two of the pieces from the front here that I'll then flip over to create the full front of the chest piece like I was talking about earlier, and make sure whenever you place your patterns on the table that they are sitting down as flat as possible. Depending on the complexity of your pattern, you may have some pattern pieces that aren't sitting flat, and that is okay, we're going to fix it. To counteract this, you're just going to want to cut slits into your pattern. These are often referred to as darts in sewing, and we also use the same term in foam work. And these darts are essentially easing the duct tape so that it will lie flat onto your surface. Don't worry about cutting through your pattern because we are going to be using these later to then glue back together with some contact cement. So don't worry, it'll be okay. As you can see here, I got super lucky and all of my pieces sit fairly close to the table with no darts needed to be put in. Now you're probably sitting there wondering how the heck I patterned the back. Well, I am not flexible enough to reach my back and what I ended up doing was I took some duct tape and did it on my mannequin. Now if you don't have a mannequin, you can ask a friend to help you to pattern your back. And if you don't have a friend that is willing to come over and help you or you just are doing this at like 3 a.m. in the morning, like the day before a con, I'm not judging you, you can use a piece of just regular clothing. Like you could just take your shirt off, lay it down on the ground and kind of pattern alongside the back of your shirt. It'll be a little bit rough. It may need some, you know, tweaking and things like that, but it's better than nothing. And I have done it before and it works. And now that we've got our patterns all nicely traced onto some craft paper, we are ready to transfer them onto some EVA foam and get started with this build. But I'll be covering that in another video that'll be coming this Thursday. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss that video. And that's all that there is to creating some of your own patterns that you know will absolutely fit you because you were the model, you cut them off of your body. It's just a really easy and pretty cost effective way to get patterns that you know will work for you. You can also use this method to basically pattern anything on your body. I have used this to pattern thigh pieces, to pattern basically everything on my Commander Shepard and my Aloy cosplays that I made out of foam. So you can pattern to your heart's content. I hope that this video helped you out in some way. And as always, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. And like I said, I will be continuing the Sylvie build in the next video that's coming this Thursday. I actually have changed my upload schedule. I am trying to get to videos out to you guys in a week. I'm going to be releasing videos on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as well as Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you ever want to kind of hang out in the comments and chat with me, I am always there for at least the first half hour every time a video goes live. I always really enjoy talking with you guys and seeing what you guys are working on and what your like latest frustration is with this hobby. It's a great time. I really do appreciate you guys commenting and just for watching in general. I hope you all have a great day, a happy time cosplaying and crafting, and I'm going to get back to work on this Sylvie cosplay because I am running out of time before Dragon Con. So I will catch you guys next time. Bye! Ow! Now you only have to do one side of your body if your breast piece. Breast piece? That. What the fuck is that? I'm gonna go drink some beer now.